Neil, this is so wrenching for the family and the community. 23 years. If anything, this story reminds you what not to do. But how are Eva and Kim coping these days? It's been incredibly difficult for Eva and for Kim. Eva has, as she said, has been grieving largely on her own. One of her friends said that around the time of the disappearance, the light went out of her eyes. It's been almost a quarter of a century. Uh, you can't imagine what she's gone through. And for Kim, uh, he was only a little boy when this happened and he's, he's grown up with this and, and no resolution. I mean, it's, in, it's been incredibly difficult for him too. What we can reveal though is police may now have a suspect. They do have a suspect. In fact, what I can tell you is they have interviewed that suspect some time ago. They have taken a DNA sample from that suspect. They have, they have put in an awful lot of work on this case. They have, as we said in that story, eliminated a number of people who were under suspicion originally no longer under suspicion, they have narrowed this down to a suspect and they are on the trail. But critically, we need details on a Datsun 180B. Yeah, the, there was a, a witness came forward uh, and said that on the night, the morning that Karen disappeared, he saw a Datsun 180B, red or orange in colour, and he heard a couple, a male and a female, arguing. Any information about that vehicle, really, really important. Let's hope it brings some sort of resolution to the family. Thanks, Neil.